Popcorn, 1991, directed by Mark Harrier, starring Jill Sholin, Tom Villard, and Derek Rydal. The film department of a high school holds a horror night at an old theater to raise money. Unfortunately, some real horrors unfold as a mysterious killer starts dropping bodies behind the silver screen as well. This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. I have a soft spot for the early 90s. It was basically the awkward preteen years for everything from movies to music. As such, films like this feel like a holdover from the 80s. That's not necessarily a bad thing. The 80s were a great decade for sci-fi and horror. The cast aren't particularly memorable aside from being cannon fodder for the killer. They're not terrible or anything, it's just... This is a slasher film, so don't get too invested in anyone. The killer is the true star of the film, though. Goofy and diabolical like Freddy, fashions masks out of faces like Leatherface, a resourceful and opportunistic killer like Jason, and even spends portions of the film disguising himself like other people to get by undetected like a pod person. What I loved about this film was how much of a love letter it was to gimmicky films. A lot of the deaths are a nod to William Castle's films in particular. A victim is impaled on a mosquito rigged to fly over the audience like the flying skeletons from screenings of House on Haunted Hill. Another victim is electrocuted while the theater seats are rigged to shock audience members like in The Tingler. The climax of this film is even a nod to the punishment pole from Mr. Sardonicus. None of these are even the most memorable death for me though. That honor goes to the toilet gas bomb. The audience in the film are treated to three films over the course of the evening. The film doesn't focus on them enough to make it a full-fledged anthology film, but it successfully captures the magic of the movie-going experience. Finally, at about 25 minutes in, eagle-eyed Iron Maiden fans will be treated to a moviegoer wearing an Eddie the Head mask. Verdict? Highly recommended. Whether a slasher fan or a fan of gimmicky horror films, this film is a great way to... kill an evening. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.